Okay, so we have a layout node uh, which will control the entirety of the skeleton uh, with uh, translations and rotations. But at this point, since we're not too far into uh, the creation of a rig, one thing you would like to do is to go back in and figure out if all uh, your nodes which you made uh, have been uh, zeroed out. Uh, here I noticed that my circle which I made for the outline for the um, for the layout is um, not zeroed out where there um, is a value of negative 2 on the translate V. I don't really want to that. I really would like to have everything zeroed out. So say if um, I want to move my model back to the origin, I can simply uh, change whatever value isn't zero and move it back to zero. If it isn't zero, then it will not be at um, where you originally had the model or your skeleton. So I'm going to go into my outliner under Windows. Uh, here I see my skeleton and my circle. I'm going to open up my uh, skeleton and I see the parent constraint which I made between the circle and the root joint. I'm just going to delete that. Then I'm going to go into modify after selecting my circle and freeze transformations. So having my circle selected I'm going to shift select uh, the root, constrain, and parent. You can also do this from the outliner if you wish by selecting the circle first, then the joint, and then constrain and parent. However you wish to do it. And just check to make sure it's working correctly, and yes it is. Now, uh, the layout node is only for uh, broad motions where you want to move the entirety of your uh, skeleton or model for setup. We still haven't fixed the problems with uh, being unable to uh, move our foot in a specific way, such as we would like the foot to stay um, on the ground plane when we move like our hip and such. And so I'm going to introduce um, a different kind of relation between um, uh, between nodes. Uh, up until now, as you can see, uh, we have the root joint in the outliner uh, as a parent to the children joined to all the way down. We have um, the NURB circle with a different relation uh, known as a constraint to the uh, joint. So here, uh, the relation which I want is between the uh, root or the hip, in this case, uh, down to the heel. And this is uh, what we'll uh, be using is the IK handle tool. Up until now, um, everything we've been moving is uh, through using forward kinematics. Forward kinematics is such that when uh, you move the parent uh, node, everything below it, all the children, will uh, move um, to match um, the parent. As in everything the parent does, the children does. In the case of the hip to the heel, we would like the heel to stay in place while the um, it is uh, on the ground. So what we can do is to create an inverse kinematic relation uh, in that for inverse kinematics uh, the uh, rotation and transition of every bone uh, between is a function of the starting uh, joint and the end joint. The starting and end joint will always um, be within the same distance uh, 
as uh, whatever you define. Uh, so just to see how it works, I'm going to choose my inverse uh, kinematics tool, uh, the IK handle tool. Uh, click on the root and click on the heel. Now the IK handle is currently selected and when I move the foot up it moves uh, almost like uh, it will move um, in four kinematics. If I move the uh, the root or the hip the heel stays in place on the ground. Okay, that's nice and all. But you notice that there's an animation artifact in that whenever I move uh, either the hip or the IK handle on the heel, the toes uh, point downwards. This is not very... Um, I mean, right now it's better in that one part of the foot stays um, on the ground when we move other parts, but not everything uh, is staying oriented. This is where um, we have another constraint. 